I promise you, if it weren't for the pattern of celebrities saying rather sensible things and then getting slammed for it, I probably wouldn't even have a channel. This time, it's Remy Ma, who was once part of the Terror Squad, and I consider to be gorgeous, but I'm always reminded of a lyric from a big pun song. Um, in my wealth is where her pain would haven. Behaving like a money-hungry hooker. Funny how the money took her from an average honey to a stunning looker. I mean, that's like almost all the chicks in the entertainment industry. I, I know if you take, uh, that's her all the way on the left there. And if you take uh, the makeup off, I mean, I can't help but feel like she'd still be really, really dope. But far more um, ordinary. But that's besides the point. Let's get into this article. It's being brought to us by Yahoo Entertainment. Rapper Remy Ma slammed for saying forced entry survivors who quote unquote survivors who seek compensation are prostitutes. This is written by Megan Sims and Megan Sims, Miss Sims. You have to establish that they're survivors first. That's the main theme of this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Rapper Remy Ma got herself into some hot water this week after she made controversial comments about survivors of sexual assault. Once again, you gotta prove that there was something that you survived, alright? During Monday's episode of Revolt TV's talk show State of the Culture, Joe Button, Brandon Jenkins, Ebony K. Williams, and Remy Ma sat down to talk about several topics ranging from Takashi69, Dave East, and even Antonio Brown. It was Remy Ma's comments regarding the latter subject that has her facing backlash. Brown, a former NFL wide receiver, was recently released from his contract with the New England Patriots after a second woman leveled sexual assault allegations against him. Brown has denied those claims, as he would. The first woman to accuse Brown, Brittany Taylor, a former trainer, filed a lawsuit against the now disgraced football star, which was a topic of discussion among the personalities on State of the Culture. If it was a forced entry, first of all, why are you not going to criminal court? Fantastic question. Williams, an attorney, asked of people who question forced entry victims. Why, once again, you have to establish victimhood, okay? <laughs> like, victimhood needs to be established. This is one of the bigger problems with social media and the culture that it has uh, cultivated. <clears throat> Why are you not going to the police and he's not arrested? The first accuser went the civil route. She filed the lawsuit. She's asking for money, but some people feel like that's the compensation that they want. That's called prostitution, Remy Ma interrupted. I don't think so, Williams disagreed. No, it's prostitution, <laughs> Remy Ma reiterated. It seems like in a lot of these alleged sexual assault cases, the women are asking for money. Hey, give me money and I'll feel better. To me, in any exchange with sexual acts of being compensated with money, that's prostitution. Bra frickin' vo, Remy Ma. Bra frickin' vo. Viewers took to social media to express their disappointment and anger at Remy Ma's comments. And before we get into those, once again, we have a criminal system and we have a civil system. I personally believe that any civil case, um, but though particularly those of the sexual nature, should be adjudicated in the criminal courts first. And the crim and that adjudication should lend itself to the criminal case. But if you just automatically jump out for the money with no, you know, kits, no rape kits, yeah, well, they're called rape kits, but no rape kits or um, police reports or investigations, yeah, I can't help but feel like those uh, civil courts should be, those civil suits should be thrown out. If you didn't care enough, after, like when the assault or when the violation happened to you to go and get all of these things and get it squared away, uh, as far as the criminal side goes and put, and put what would essentially be a monster in jail, then why come back around a year, some change later, talking about, oh, well, you know, I changed my mind. It wasn't consensual no more. You know, that, uh, what's her name? I don't care about her name. Um, Keisha Cole? Yeah, the Keisha Cole song. She changed her mind. Uh, Dear Remy Ma, you sat comfortably on a couch at your big age whatever, and said when forced entry victims sue their abusers for money, it's prostitution, not restitution, you have to find out, who's this, Jerome Trammell, I don't, I don't know who you are, Jerome Trammell, but uh, Mr. Trammell, you have to find out that the, you, ha it's, you can't restitute something that didn't happen, you know, you can't be compensated when, there's no, when there was no violation in the first place, and that's what the criminal is for, coming out 
and just oh yeah believe women nah man believe evidence believe facts men and women they lie a lot for reasons you you just never would imagine Remy Ma really sat on that couch and said that if a woman is forcibly entered and seeks a settlement, that is prostitution. Remy Ma said if anything happens to you, you actually get money for it. You're a sex worker, even in forced entry, and that's not even close to what she said. Not even close. You you hear how people, we, we all read the same thing. We all read the same quote. Well, I mean, I read the quote. You heard me read the quote, and that's nothing like what she said. I like state of the culture, but Remy Ma is so ignorant about important issues. It hurts to listen to her most times. And that's from, from some guy um, named Isaac, but really, who cares? Uh, the rapper has yet to comment on the backlash. So let's go back on up here and uh, get a... Uh, no, no, not all that. Come on, guys. Seriously. All right, cool. I want to leave it on Remy Ma for a second. Okay, I'll boost that on up. I mean, cause she bad. Like, geez, huh? she a thirty five percent of easy. Like I said, not a fan of the blonde wig and all that other stuff. But damn, Remy Ma, you 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 bad, you bad. But either way, <laughs> and you're also right. And you said absolutely nothing wrong. The deal is, is that we that, that's our standard. The standard in this country is innocent until proven guilty. It has been forever and a day. And and without the proof of guilt, then like you know, just demanding money, yeah, yeah, that that is prostitution. Uh, particularly because you didn't have any problems, you you weren't you didn't feel violated enough to go to the authorities and to get that taken care of. So seriously, Remy Ma said absolutely nothing wrong, but you may disagree. So with that being said, we're gonna bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead, do that too. I ain't scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you don't like they don't like me like that because hey I'm I'm gonna agree. When somebody says something that makes sense, I'm gonna agree with them. And I agree with Remy Ma wholeheartedly here i feel like if you do go automatically to a to a civil case outside of the criminal i think the civil case should be thrown out at least until a criminal investigation is done boom i don't care i don't care really and i think this extends even beyond um you know forced entry damn near any civil case where hey someone can just say oh you hurt my feelings or i'm not feeling it anymore so now i want to come after you it, 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 we've created an insane precedent that needs to be checked hard so but you might disagree so that's what the comments for and until the next one